an American was caught spying on the U.S. for Israel. He was convicted and sentenced to life in prison. So why is he living like a hero in Israel? Jonathan Pollard, a former Pentagon intelligence analyst, divulged top-secret U.S. classified documents to the Israeli Mossad. The Mossad is the Israeli espionage unit infamous for committing assassinations and other acts of terror around the globe, and who the FBI have linked to the World Trade Center attacks of 9-11. According to the FBI and the Department of Justice, Israel is the second most aggressive nation running espionage operations in the U.S. and against the U.S. The CIA director at the time stated, The Israelis used Pollard to obtain our war plans against the USSR, all of it. The coordinates, the firing locations, the sequences, and Israel sold that information to Moscow for exit visas for Soviet Jews. Pollard was so damaging to U.S. security that the U.S. Defense Secretary told the Israeli ambassador that Pollard should have been executed. He didn't start out to give information to the Israelis. He approached the Pakistanis, he approached the South Africans, he approached the Australians. One day he was talking to a friend of his in New York who commented that he had met a colonel in the Israeli Air Force named Avi Sela. And Pollard said, can you introduce me to him? The Israelis started tasking him with specific documents they wanted. They had a book that was published by the DIA that was basically a catalog of all the things that were available. And Jonathan Pollard didn't give it to them. They got that from somebody else. By his own admission, he said, I gave them enough information to occupy a space that would be six feet by six feet by 10 feet. Despite all of this, many American friends of Israel became shamelessly and increasingly vocal. By soon, Jonathan will be addressing this audience. But let me inform you, he's not going to do it in New York. He'll address your Israeli dinner. The pro-Israel lobby pressed every president from Reagan to Trump, urging them to free Pollard. Please let Jonathan come home now, here in Israel. Thank you, Mr. President. And of course the Adelsons, the most powerful and influential among them, have called for Pollard's release. Sheldon died earlier this year, but Miriam controls the fortune. The Israeli billionaires have been a major source of funding for the pro-Israel lobby, which includes the Republican Jewish Coalition, an organization the Adelsons fund and sit on the board of. However, the pro-Israel lobby doesn't pick sides when it comes to influencing U.S. politicians. Furthermore, the Adelsons are major financial supporters of the political careers of both Trump and Netanyahu. President Trump even awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom to Miriam Adelson and pardoned Avi Sela before leaving office. Miriam then rewarded Pollard with a free ride to Israel on her private jet, where Prime Minister Netanyahu welcomed him with ID cards and Israeli citizenship. Go home. The American people must wonder why an American traitor would be treated as a hero in Israel.